Welcome to the season finale of Nerd Central. We hope you enjoyed the entertainment we've provided with more in the coming months. But before we get to our season highlights and bloopers, let's bring each of our crew members on to get their opinions on certain topics. You must answer these questions as fast as you can and have 30 seconds to do so. Come on out here, contestant number one, Emma. Hello. Hello. All right, uh, are you ready? No, but okay. Okay, that's <laughs> too darn bad. Because <laughs> we're starting in three, two, one. Pineapple on pizza, yes or no? No. How many days can you wear the same pair of pants? Uh, depends on the pants, probably like two. Do penguins have knees? No. Favorite fruit? Uh, strawberries. DC or Marvel? Marvel. Star Trek or Star Wars? <laughs> <laughs> What's the difference? Would you rather be tased or maced? Oh, I don't know, I guess. Um, tased. <laughs> you guys what is up you guys what is up you guys my name is Emma Bjork and you're watching nerd games nerd games nerd games let's get right to it what is Dolores Umbridge's middle name <laughs> what what is Dolores Umbridge's middle name no yeah I heard the question I mean answer <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know there is Lynn Jane Sue or Jean Oh no. Emma, um, you have picked up the tape. You must answer. It's either Jane or Jean. I it's think. obviously Karen. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, uh, Thanos. Uh, Eggman. Eggman? Dr. Robotnik. What is Eggman. Dr. Robotnik. <laughs> Cody will like that one. I don't know. Your movie has a lot of aliens. Aliens? <laughs> Is it a Disney movie? Yes. Like Toy Story? No. Like real aliens. And there's an FBI guy who comes in with sunglasses. Men in Black? No, oh my god. That's not even Disney. Like, what? <laughs> Did you have serious black? I did no, not. you did not. Did you even have two people on the hippogriff? But I drew better. Lies. Slander. I'm a trust fund, baby. You can trust me. I'm a reading common sense by Thomas Paine. Some, Some men say, say that, that I'm intense, I rhyme insane. You want a revolution? I want a revelation. revelation. Okay. So listen to my deck. We're gonna get copyrighted for that. <laughs> not if we sing it bad enough. Bad enough. Hey, okay. <laughs> well, that guy's. Hello. <laughs> He is beautiful. I'm not simping. I'm just appreciating beauty. I know beauty when I see it. That round doesn't count. No, yes, it does. I was no. holding it. No. Not cool, dude. Uh, I lost you. Not cool, dude. I love you too. It's kind of gross. <laughs> this sucks. <sighs> oh, I kind of felt like a princess. <laughs> Contestant, we have contestant number two, fan favorite, and new to the show this year, Uhaman. Get up here. 
Okay. <laughs> we got 30 seconds to answer some questions, starting now. Pineapple on pizza, yes or no? No. How many days can you wear the same pair of pants? Twice. Do penguins have knees? Yes. Favorite fruit? Um, pear. DC or Marvel? Marvel. Star Wars or Star Trek? Star Wars. Would you rather be tased or maced? Tased. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Okay. So go away. <laughs> <laughs> well, right. it's been a crazy ride, but here's a recap of some of my favorite moments from this season of Review Girl. I don't Thanks guys, we're gonna take a quick break, but don't worry, more bloopers and highlights are coming your way. Stay tuned. And for contestant number three, we have the one and only Drew. Woo, hello Drew. Hello. Hi, <laughs> okay, are you ready to answer some questions? Yeah. Okay, good. The official questions start in three, two, one, pineapple on pizza, yes or no? No. How many days can you wear the same pair of pants? Three. Do penguins have knees? Yes. Favorite fruit? Pineapple. DC or Marvel? Marvel. Star Wars or Star Trek? Star Wars. Would you rather be tased or maced? Tased. <laughs> there was a dramatic pause there. <laughs> okay. I didn't know that. No, go, go, go. <laughs> Bye, Drew. Thanks for all your hard work. Next. Hello, this is Drew, and welcome to Trash Flicks. This week, I'll be going over what I think to be the top three worst movies I've looked at. I'll be making these decisions based off of how bored, annoyed, or insulted I am by these movies. First up, it's the Bratz movie. I did not like this film at all. Something about the characters and the tone they gave off they were the main characters, but a lot of the time, they were just terrible people to each other and the other people they were involved with. And I don't think anyone can really top 
the level of jerkiness that every character had in this movie. And it wasn't a good, fun jerkiness. It was just rude. If I had to pick one reason it was one of the worst, it would definitely be the characters. But there are other bad elements, like a generic plotline and a story that just drags on. But the main issue was the character writing, for sure. The second worst movie I looked at was True Memoirs of an International Assassin. This movie feels like it was written in one day. The story is extremely generic, the characters are really boring, and the premise is stupid. I understand that the movie is an action comedy, but that is no excuse for the characters to be as dumb as they are. The movie even does the whole guy gets the girl at the end thing. It's so generic I could predict what happens. The worst thing a movie can do is be boring and predictable. And this was both. Lastly, the worst movie I looked at is Sex Tuplets. If cringe was a physical thing, it would be the sex tuplets. Everything in this movie just makes me feel uncomfortable. The jokes are bad and sometimes just gross. The characters are just caricatures and the story is dumb. The whole thing is just a mixed bag of bad that makes the movie a total slog. It was usually boring, but if I wasn't bored, I was annoyed. It's just not fun to watch. In the end, these movies were bad in their own special way. These three managed to make me feel a whole gallery of different emotions and not one of them positive. Don't get me wrong, all the movies I looked at were bad, but these three take the cake. In their own special way, they are uniquely terrible. I do not and never will recommend watching these but if you really do feel like taking the plunge, go ahead. This was Drew, and as always, thanks for watching Trash Flicks. Sweet. In case you haven't noticed, I just got a little shorter, but you know who's shorter than me? Contestant number four, Paige. <laughs> Hello. Really? Are you, yeah. Are you ready to answer some questions? Yes. <laughs> oh, good. Here we go. Pineapple on pizza? Yes or no? No. How many days can you wear the same pair of pants? Three, but not in a row. Do penguins have knees? No, but apparently no. I mean, yes. I mean, okay. no, but yes. <laughs> Favorite fruit? Apple for apple pie. DC or Marvel? Marvel. Star Wars or Star Trek? Star Wars. And would you rather be tased or maced? Tased. We touch tasers. <laughs> <laughs> we touch tasers. Okay, good. Go away. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> well, that was fun. Um, next. Hello and welcome back to B-Rated, the show that guides you along the walk of lame in our quest to watch the best and the worst. No, that wasn't right. Damn it. Okay, so I'm running out of ideas on how to introduce myself, but it can't hurt to go back to basics. I mean, who doesn't like pizza? All right, whoever just scoffed at the screen and said that they don't like pizza can come over here and kiss my animated- That's fine, I totally didn't knock the chair over. Nobody saw anything. But I'm not just any child. I'm an adult. I do taxes. I mean, an alien race of killer robots coming to destroy the human race? Like we haven't seen that a dozen times before. So does this bother the public? Yes and no. I mean, there's protesters everywhere, but on the other hand, <gasps> mom made cookies shaped like dinosaurs and dead criminals. Yes! Okay, jokes aside, this movie has me questioning one of my core beliefs. I mean, I truly believe that this one thing, this motto, could get me through almost anything that life threw at me. But here I am questioning it. I mean, have I really been living a lie? Could it really be? That you can't fix everything in post? I mean, I've seen actual editing miracles. What do you mean I can't fix everything in post? What am I supposed to do? Fix it beforehand? No way, I can do it. I can fix it in post, watch me. This movie takes place in 2014. Uh, but Paige, this doesn't look like 2014. No, duh. That's because this movie was made. That's because this movie, no, duh. That, damn it. Do you really think that the people who thought that this barbaric way of texting was efficient also thought that we would be here in 2014? Let it go! Oh, John Cena! No, 
No, Mom, I'm not too stressed out. Yeah, I've got everything under control. Mom, I gotta go. And I am scarred for life. I like to think of myself as a bit of a treasure hunter. Finding hidden artifacts... Finding hidden artifacts and sharing them with people who really didn't need to know. But this week, I discovered something that should have never seen the light of a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. I don't know what it is or where it came from, but I do know this. I never should have watched it. But now I'm gonna share my torture with you! Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to play B-Rated or Trash Flicks. Is this movie so bad that it belongs on... We've got three seconds on the clock and look at that, time's already up. Contestants, if you guessed Trash Flicks material, you are correct. Congratulations, you didn't win anything. Oh, no, 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 before you say what I know you're all thinking. I will destroy any person who would dare hurt a single hair on Milo's head. But when I was a kid, I liked the Batman and Robin movie. I'm so sorry, I didn't know any better. I really liked the Justice League Unlimited cartoon, and I had never seen a live-action Batman movie before. So when I found the rough Batman, I said... Like I said, I'm usually pretty decent at predicting what's going to happen in these types of movies. But this was the one... <laughs> Let this movie serve as a cautionary tale that some things need to be fixed in pre-production. There. I said it. Are you all happy now? I'm sorry, I didn't know, I was... Welcome back. We've got more bloopers and highlights coming your way. Take it away, guys. We've made it through almost everyone, but we have just a few more contestants to get through, starting with new producer, Kyle. Insert air horn sounds here. We had to pause for the sound. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> hello, Kyle. How are you? Oh, I'm 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 alive. So I'm doing pretty good. Good. Are you ready to answer some questions? No. That's too bad. Here we go. Three, two, one. Pineapple and pizza? Yes or no? It depends on the pizza. How many days can you wear the same pair of pants? Five, not in a row. Do penguins have knees? Of course they do. Favorite fruit? Uh, I like pears. DC or Marvel? Nobody says, nobody says DC. It's obviously Marvel. Star Wars or Star Trek? Easy. Star Wars. Would you rather be tased or maced? You see, I've been maced before, mm -hmm. and it was actually kind of fun, so we're just going to go with tased, because I like new experiences. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to the final episode of Cyburns for this season. I am, all, as always, the greatest caveman of all time, Kyle. But today, we're going to take a little different approach to it. Today, we're going to go over the bloopers and the highlights from these last few episodes. Now I know, I know you guys must be really sad to see me go, but I might be back in the future. I might not be, who knows? But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into some of these highlights. It's The Last Airbender. Now if you haven't gathered, this show is about tearing movies apart. I'm not reviewing them, and this one is a doozy. So sit down, shut up, and strap in, because I'm bursting blood vessels this week. All right, let's ruin my faith in humanity. But first, Blue Arrow, and this is a poorly done head of tattoo. Do you see the difference? I'd hope so, because Stevie Wonder can see the trash that this movie is. I swear to Christ, if I get if I get copyright strikes again for this sh I might just hurt somebody. <laughs> Specifically Disney, that three head... Hi! If Iroh isn't your favorite character, I'm sorry, but you're wrong. But the worst is... And you mean to tell me... Mean to tell me that... <clears throat> Eero? Okay, so this guy is obviously down on his luck. I mean, come on. He's a mall Santa, for Christ's sake. Once on the bridge, Grievous says... F*** me. <laughs> Grievous does not say f*** me. Hey Kyle, you want to be in the center of the frame? Scratch your head. In a previous episode, it has that <laughs> factor. This one does too. You envision Grievous being this 10 foot tall murder bot, but he's maybe 6'8 with a slouch and asthma. The one who gave me the idea for this week, Cody Nancy! I mean Nance! Hi. Can just rub some ch Chia Pet stuff into your hairline to fill it out. I guess. Since Cody is still riding the wave that the Snyder Cut is the greatest thing since sliced bread, I find it fitting the island go after the DC Universe in this episode. So who would win in the fight? An orphan with magical Jesus powers, or an orphan who never left his emo face? Here's a hint, it's the f orphan with magical Jesus powers. And it looks like we're going after the movie Avatar. No, no, not the blue people, the short dude with the blue arrow on his forehead. Yeah, that guy. Loving the wordplay, of course, it's a law student. Anakin and Obi, but, 
Provocative, oh I know, big words now, consisting of nylons, a leotard, and bunny ears. Yum. Just a bunch of law students drinking their sorrows away. I mean, what else is new? This is common fight banter going between opponents. It's always great, but it didn't really pack a punch. I have appeared! Now pay. Magically! This is Mikhail with Sideburns. I'll see you later. Till next time, stay burned. Sure. So now, <laughs> Sorry. it's Krista's turn oh, to boy. answer some of these questions because nobody ever asked Krista questions. So, True. Krista, are you ready to answer some questions? I sure am. You sure are. I was bored for this moment. Perfect. Well, starting right now, three, two, one. Pineapple on pizza, yes or no? If it's Hawaiian. How many days can you wear the same pair of pants? Uh, several. Several? <laughs> 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 More than one. <laughs> do penguins have knees? Yeah, they do. What is your favorite fruit? Banana. Banana. <laughs> DC or Marvel? Why not both? <laughs> <laughs> one is awful. It's not true. Star Wars or Star Trek? Uh, why not neither? Oh, that's... Ouch. <laughs> Would you rather be tased or maced? Uh, tased. Tased. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I will show myself out now. <laughs> Please do. Okay, bye. Bye. Another feud? OMG, who could have predicted this? Certainly not me. So, I'm really just hoping for a similar... S <laughs> we have to do everything again. <laughs> everything. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, you're right. I just want them to fight against each other again. But this time, I'm in charge. We good? All right. Well, there you have it. The teams are picked. The... Is that my banana hammock? How did you get these? Is that my bathrobe? I've been looking for that hat forever! Oh my god, a sexy lingerie! My textiles. <laughs> Back up! <laughs> you turn! Oh, oh! Rude. Not cool, man. Okay. Alright. Big super. Super, super star of football. Um, so that's all I'm going to give you for now. Choose your choose your teams. Oh, I, let's opponents. do that again. Yep. Yeah. What okay, see? right now I'm looking at myself. The word myself. Okay. 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 I'm figuring it out. Okay. Competitors. Oh wait, no, you need to come. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Cool. <laughs> Alright. Alright. You can't tell me you didn't hear it. Hear what? <laughs> Hold on, you need to come. <laughs> <laughs> Like, oh, Cody, you can't make me go on command like that. You gotta warm me up with Olive Garden. Do some soup and some blitz kicks. <laughs> Mr. Demandy Manderson over here. You go now. Okay. I love the delayed reaction, too. Because it was just so slow. Look at right. cascading from me on. Okay, we're good now. We're All right. Good. Oh, my. Is a page? And... <laughs> okay. Damn, we gotta recreate all that original energy. That was such a good take. Maybe just stick it in again. <laughs> 
You can rock it with it. Come here, Cody. Come here. It's okay. trouble for the for hazing on the on the water bottle thing. We don't this need isn't this. Hazing. This is you and I having a I nice told relationship. You that was gonna be problematic. This is us having Nobody a nice dinner party, me. Cody. Just that get ready for we it. We almost got in trouble. Not that we did. I'm yeah. just. What's what's so important? Are you texting your girl? Is, is, it, is it your girlfriend? Is it your girlfriend? Is it your girlfriend? Cody's got a girlfriend. Believe it or not. He can actually <laughs> he can actually sling, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> All right. Do the thing. Okay.